All right, good morning. It's just before 620. All eyes, you know, are on the tropics this time of year. And uh, some good news, it's looking pretty quiet out there, at least for the next couple of uh, days to the next five days or so. The overall environment of the Atlantic, the Gulf, the Caribbean, not very conducive for tropical development. There's a couple of reasons for that. And one of them, uh, we've got a lot of dry air. There's a big plume of Saharan dust heading out over the Atlantic. And you got to remember, this happens a lot during June and July. Those are typically the two months where we we see these big plumes of dust. Now this will start to settle down as we go into August, September, and that's what allows you know we us to start to see more tropical development as we head into the peak of hurricane season. But for right now, it's looking pretty good. Now there are some tropical waves. You can see this big area of showers and storms. I just saw someone post about it on social media, but uh, not expecting this to do anything. The environment down here just not very conducive. Now there is moisture associated with these tropical waves that can enhance our rain chances, but development into a tropical system it just doesn't look like it's going to happen at this point with any of these. So you can see some of that moisture heading up to us as we go into the end of the work week, but that's it. Just some moisture. Nothing too crazy about it. Very typical this time of year uh, that we get this southeast flow. It brings in that rich tropical moisture from the Gulf and the Caribbean, and it just kind of keeps our rain chances pretty high. That's exactly what it's going to do. So we're going to continue to see uh, showers and thunderstorms around today. There's really no relief from the rainfall we've been dealing with over the past couple of months. Yes, there may be days where you don't get a lot of rainfall, but there is at least going to be the chance that you do see some showers and storms.